just quickly, I'm almost out of recording space here, so this is my um, oscillifier circuit which I've described in another video, but I've got um, a 1.5 volt, well it's actually 1.2 volt battery as the power source, and it's running the Jewel Thief, which you can see there, I've just hooked it up. Jewel Thief is passing on to a supercapacitor here, and I've got the pulse motor being run off that. And I've breadboarded it, and I've put a, a lead torch on that just to, to show you the brightness, um, which I was pretty impressed with. So I'll just spark this up. I've unhooked the Jewel Thief, so it's just the capacitor running this now. I put iron in the core of this coil so I can't get too close otherwise the magnet energizes the coil and becomes an electromagnet and the magnet leaps off. But there it is running the pulse motor. I'll just get the camera closer so you can hear the, the hum. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyway, that's not what I was going to show you. And the bit that I want to show you is uh, the self-oscillation and the brightness that I can get out of a lead torch off just that 1.5 volt battery. Um, so here's the lead torch. I'm just going to darken the room down a bit and spark it into self-oscillation by touching this wire on the diode. Okay, there's the brightness of the LED light, LED torch, and you can see that's enough for me to read by and, and even see around. The room's completely dark, um, getting very, very good brightness off 1.2 volts of battery being fed into the capacitor. So I can shine this at the camera, but the camera's probably just going to adjust for it. It's quite bright. Yeah, so I really just wanted to show you the, the kind of brightness I'm getting off this. Hold it as far away as I can. Still getting good light there. And turn off self-oscillation by touching that transistor and there you go.